is happening guys it is wednesday and we're at the hack and pack shop and no i'm sorry we're not working on this yet i'm actually ordering cab corners and rockers for this this project's going to be on hold for a little while longer but hopefully maybe tomorrow um we will start doing the wheel wells on it until the rockers and cab corners come in i haven't even had a chance to go in the house yet and get on the computer and get on ebay and order them bastards but this is what we're working on we have ourselves a honda odyssey minivan Yes, this belongs to a friend of mine. He's one of my neighbors. And this is what's going on. Well, first I'm going to show you. Look at this. I got the latch over there, okay? Got a cable. A cable. Another cable. And a plug. Power door. Power sliding door. So you basically pull the handle. The door shuts. Sucks itself closed. And latches. This is what the, the van's doing. You pull the handle. The door closes. It opens back up. Pull the handle, the door closes. It opens back up. It doesn't latch. It doesn't suck in and latch. So, um, he said he'd take the, he'd taken the other door apart, and now uh, he basically cleaned up the latch and the thing worked fine. Okay? Well, this is the latch assembly that came out of this freaking van. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is a, Look, size of my hand, the latch. Okay, gives you an idea of how big this sucker is. All right, this thing's a monstrosity. I've never seen a latch like this ever before. All right, and it's got, you got a cable hook up here, cable hook up here, another cable hook up here. Okay, so this is the deal. This is the actual latch that closes the door. All right, you take the screwdriver here. And you push down so far, right there, that would be closed position, it should stay shut. It's not. It's popping back open. All right, and I'm going to try to hold this with my pinky shut, or almost shut. And it's got a lever, son of a bitch. I know you guys are thinking tripod, John, tripod, tripod. Well, it's going to be hard to set up a tripod right here with what I'm doing. All right, we've got this black lever right here. I'm trying to hold this with my pinky and hold the camera. And it's got this black lever that I'm pushing down with a screwdriver. If I can get the son of a bitch down. And this holds the latch shut. Okay? So basically, this is what the deal is. See, the latch is, well, not quite shut, shut, but it's in like the the, the first um, latch position, not the secondary, which latches it completely. So this is what we got. It's got a motor in here, an electric motor, which you can see right there. Okay? And the electric motor turns this this whole assembly here son of a bitch son of a bitch and phone all right okay so where were we okay so this son of a bitch the motor it's got a gear in here right there another part of the gear so basically this is my theory <laughs> when the door starts to latch is what it does is it triggers this doohickey here all right right there see the cable moving and it pulls that down, and you can see the latch moving, right? When I pull it down, it latches the door shut. Okay? But it's what I don't get with the son of a bitch. This right here releases the latch. This cable pulls it back to release the latch. Okay? See that thing moving right there? <clears throat> but nothing is allowing this to go back where it belongs. So my th theory is when you push down on this latch, when a latch goes into the striker and latches, this thing, if I could point at it, right there, that little black lever, should spring down. Okay, I just pushed it down to hold that latch shut. So I'm not really sure what's up with this, okay, but it was kind of something to get out of this door. The door is, you know, half-ass on the van, half-ass off the van. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys kind of what I'm working on right now. Yeah. So you Honda guys, I'm sure you've had a few of these apart, and you might be able to give me a little bit of guidance. But I am going, I, I lubricated the crap out of it. I mean, I used a whole can of brake cleaner, cleaned everything out of here. I mean, you see how clean all that is? Cleaned it, took some thrust, sprayed the crap out of this thing with some thrust, and then freaking um, 
put a little bit of motor oil down in here, just a little bit, like some 5W20, and just try to lubricate everything up. But um, I don't know. I'm going to put it back together, and, and uh, I guess we'll uh, continue when I get it back together. I would do a video of putting it together, but there's no way I'll be able to set up the camera and actually show you guys what I'm doing. You're going to be blind most of the time, so there's no sense in even doing that. So, yeah, we'll continue when I have this thing back in the van. See if it works. And a few of you guys wonder why I keep the four-wheeler lift around in here. This is why. Holds these doors up nice. All right, so we're going to give it a shot here. Oh, boy. This is the first try. See? Interesting, huh, guys? This is what I get to play with today. <clears throat> Alright, now we'll see if we can manually latch it. Nope. It's actually worse now because it didn't beat before. Did it just work? Nope. See, something's not releasing in this latch. It's not uh, it's not locking or releasing properly. But you know, it could be because I don't have this door panel snapped in all the way, but that shouldn't really affect it. The bottom of it's in pretty damn good. It isn't latching. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. bump stop here um, which just looks like it's for that switch there maybe I wonder if I move the striker out just a little bit if that would work now let's give that a shot all right so I'm loosening up the striker a little bit we're gonna see if it'll move out just a touch it'll go down might have to put you guys down here for a minute though. Oh yeah, she's got definitely room to go out. So what I'll do, 
see if I can do this one handed. Almost impossible, but I try for you guys anyway. Just tighten that up. Big ass Phillips. <clears throat> but it's not acting like it's even going in quite enough to even touch that. Let's see if that helps. gun son of a bitch all right let me uh tear into this some more and we'll keep you guys updated all right process of elimination time this little sucker right here i'm gonna trace this with my nice little purple marker yep we're gonna pop that off and then see what it does the reason why i traced it is because then i will know where it was exactly When it makes the beeping noise, it's pretty much telling you, hey, there's something blocking me from shutting asshole, so I'm opening back up. You know, you could have pinched your nuts in there, could be a kid in there, could be a McDonald's sandwich from three weeks ago. Who the hell knows? All right, let's try this again. Well, that definitely isn't the problem. And all these look good and clean, all the contacts here. There's no actual power inside of this door, okay? Basically, when the door is shut, all these contacts make, and then any kind of power options inside the door allow it to work, okay? There is a cable here, um, but I don't believe it's power. I think it's an actual cable cable, which is possible that maybe something's uh, hanging up there, too. So we're going to get down in here, too, and take a look at some of this. So you can hear it trying to latch, but it's just not quite latching. Now let me grab my light. We'll look at this lower mechanism here. All right. What's that cable do? That's what I want to know. It goes in right there. like it's got a switch right here or something I don't know if there's a micro switch in that or what there's actually a micro switch in the latch um, that senses when the latch is not shutting or not latching I mean the track here looks pretty good I don't see any kind of blockage. Oh, this freaking light. Come on. Come on. Everything looks good down inside of there. This freaking light off. This light's like two months old. Get down in here. I don't feel anything. I don't see anything that would bind this thing. Come on. to get a new light. See 
case something comes out and bites my finger off in here. Alright, definitely too dark right here. I'm gonna shut you off for a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is where we're at with this door. This latch, I know the lighting isn't the greatest guys, my light just took a crap. You should be able to latch this and it stay latched, okay? It's not. We'll go to this door, to this latch. The screwdriver in there, bam, it latches, okay? Now is what you gotta do, <clears throat> you gotta push the handle back, so you pretend the door's shut, all right? So we gotta push this handle back. It releases this back latch, And bam, it sucks shut. Okay? This latch is not latching at all. Okay? What we'll do, we'll hit this lock up like I got the other side. Okay? So I think there's two different problems going on here. Alright? Um. One of the problems is the latch itself. The latch, for some reason, isn't holding itself latch shut. Okay, and then the other problem I'm trying to work on right now, when you pull this, the door shuts, it goes so far, you hear the beeper come on. Okay? Now listen very carefully this time when I do it. I'm going to help the door shut. Okay, did you guys hear that electric motor in there? All right, so one of the problems is the door isn't shut, um, sucking shut far enough to engage the electric motor to pull that latch shut. And then the other problem is the actual latch. Um, so I gotta figure out why the door isn't sucking itself in far enough to, to initiate the electric motor to run that latch. Okay, it gets so far, and then it quits. It could be a weak motor to dr that drives the actual door and not the latch. Okay, it could be an adjustment. Okay, so it just did its thing. But see, it's not holding it latched. All right, could it be binding up here in the top? Okay, I mean, it could be a lot of things. All right, it's not hitting up here. Okay, but it is tight. But I believe it hasn't scraped the paint off it, so I don't think that's the problem. Alright, all the paint's still there. Alright, so it's not hitting that and causing this. Okay, I pulled off a couple weather strips. Alright, that didn't seem to help it. Okay, um, we pulled this doohickey off. I actually pulled the rubber booty out of here. Alright, didn't do anything. But as what's happening, I believe these three contacts here, okay, all these are out, and there's three here that are in. So when this door gets shut so far, okay, this is what I think is going on. I'm not telling you it is. When it gets shut so far, okay, these three here, bam, bam, bam. I know you can't see them. Those three connect, and that's what that's what um, makes the rear motor, the motor that's inside of this latch, run to lock and unlock the door. It just makes sense because you got a reverse polarity switch here, okay? Maybe the center is ground. This is hot to release the latch. This could be hot to engage the latch. You get what I'm saying? It could go any way. But that's what I think is going on. When I help it and push it in just far enough, you can hear that motor. Okay, but when I don't help it, you don't hear it. So that's what's telling me that it's probably these three terminals right here that engage that latch motor. Okay, so is what I'm going to do, unfortunately, again, <laughs> I got to rip this door back apart. I got to take the interior panel off it, I got to take the latch out of it, and I think is what's going on is uh, if when I showed you guys earlier that little black tab on the latch, it wasn't um, returning. Okay, it wasn't allowing the latch to stay latched. So if I can at least fix, fix the latch, 
okay, we'll have at least half the problem solved tonight. I mean, it's already probably 5.30, 6 o'clock. I've been screwing around with this thing for at least an hour and a half, two hours now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to repair the latch somehow. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we've got to get the latch out of the van. Okay. And to get this latch off, I mean, I, I can't videotape all this for you because it's just almost impossible. Is what you got to do, there's two bolts on this back hinge. Okay. You can undo these two bolts, and that'll allow you to pull this whole door out to about here, okay? Maybe a little bit further. And I'm setting it on top of my four-wheeler lift here to um, suspend the rear part of the door, and then I get in there, and I can get from the back side and pop all these freaking uh, um, pop-outs out for the panel, okay? And uh, then is what I do. There's uh, five 10-millimeter bolts that actually hold this whole latch assembly in here. So let me get this latch back out of the van, and um, we're going to see if we can do something to repair this latch because I'm sure it's probably a two, three, four hundred dollar stinking latch. Maybe more, maybe less, but I'm sure it's at least two hundred bucks. So see if we can repair that and then we'll go ahead and uh, see if that works and then we'll figure out why this door isn't shutting far enough to engage that motor to suck that latch shut. Son of a bitch. Huh. Pen. Latch. Pen. Latch. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready for this shit? Alright, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take the spring out of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a little tiny hole right there. Right there. And I'm going to drill another little tiny hole, like, say, right there. And I'm going to put that freaking spring on there, out of that pen. And hopefully, is what I'm hoping, is it's going to hold enough pressure to uh, keep that latch so it'll latch. Because it's really not a whole lot of pressure there. All right, take my finger in there, stick that in there, take that finger, bam, it holds it. I mean, there's not a lot of pressure, okay? So I'm going to take that pen spring, and I'm going to integrate it into this latch. And then we're going to see if that works. Yeah. The spring wasn't strong enough. And I got to figure out plan B. Yeah. It is now a spring loaded. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? Cobblins. All right. See if it works. Bam. Will it release? Bam. Will it work? Bam. All right. Let's put her back together again. At least this, hopefully we can get the door to, to latch now. If we can get it to latch, um, we got half the problem solved. We still got to figure out why it's not shutting far enough, though, for those pins to hit. So I'll throw this latch back in here. Um, yeah, this is a freaking pain in the ass fun job, too. Unfortunately, I don't have any light because my light shit the bed. All right, but the latch goes there, and we got that space to work with. Yeah, see how fat the door is? Uh-huh. Still fat the latches. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Let me throw her back together. All right. So she's back together. I just fired the van up so uh, this freaking thing could do this on a charge because these doors have been open a while. So let's see what it does here. All right. Well, it's not opening back up. All right. And it is latching, but it's not latching all the way I don't think let me go see here what the indicator in a dash says all right yeah driver's door is open and it's still showing the rear door open son of a bitch we're getting there guys all right <clears throat> I mean, it feels like it's got a ton of resistance here. I mean, 
mean, there's definitely more to the problem than just that latch. I do know this now. Just wonder if maybe uh, I mean, this rubber feels like it's in here pretty good. This door panel isn't totally snapped on. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Well, it's definitely trying. All right, well, we're this far with it anyway. At least now they can drive it. They don't have to worry about their kids flying out of it. All these connections. I cleaned all these guys. All these little connections. And I sanded all these connections. So I know it's not a connection problem. <laughs> Blow this stuff out of there from sanding it. I mean, is it possible this rubber is messed up? Feels like it's in there good and tight. Definitely feels like there's resistance, though. Close, but no cigar. All right, I'm gonna keep puttering with this guy's, I'll, uh, yeah, I'm almost dropped you. I'll let you know what the progress is. You guys ever have a brain fart? Yeah, I, I see stupido right now, okay? Um, you know what I just realized? Remember we put the striker out. So, of course, it's not going to shut all the way. So, we're going to put the striker back in. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Put it there. We'll put it there. See if we can get the bottom to slide in here one-handed. So you guys, I know you're the thing, you're yelling at me. Tripod, tripod, pisser. Well, try holding a tripod in here, okay? I have to move that stupid thing around 82 times. All right, let's try that. Oh, son of a bitch! All right. Maybe it was just a glitch, right? Okay. Let's see if it shut that stupid light off. I never ever try to leave the keys inside the vehicles. If you lock up on me, fire them up. And the door light is out. Just make sure here, here we'll zoom in so you guys can see. Look at that. See the little car picture there next to that bright ass seatbelt light? All right. Sweet. Okay. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it running. Feels good and tight, guys. No, oh, it still doesn't look like it's quite closed all the way, but it's showing it's closed. It's going to be a long ass video. Well, 
I think we got it. One more time. So we'll get right inside the van. Fingerprints, son of a bitch. Got a clean shit now. Oh, yeah. I think we got it, guys. Look at that. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it at the end of this video. I just got to clean up some of my mess. Throw the seat back in and go deliver this sucker. So y'all have a goody goody. Hope you enjoyed my little dilemma with the Honda Odyssey door. We kicked its ass. What can I say? We failure's not an option here at the Hack and Pack shop, or at least most of the time. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Later. One last time. Oh shit. Damn, I'm good.